Both high-intensity and low-intensity workouts will help you lose weight. But when it comes to improving heart health, new research published in Annals of Internal Medicine finds that a high-intensity workout is better. The high-intensity group reduced their body weight, they reduced their waist circumference, as the other groups did, but unique to the high-intensity group was their ability to manage blood sugar. That was the only group in which we observed benefit. Study participants were randomly assigned to exercise at a low intensity or a high intensity, five times a week with no calorie restrictions. All groups burned similar numbers of total calories per workout and had similar weight loss, but the low intensity group didn't see the same heart health benefits of the high intensity group. Our study results suggest that for managing blood sugar, intensity matters. If you want to improve your body's ability to reduce blood sugar, you want to do the higher intensity exercise. I think that was an important observation of our study. Researchers also found a benefit to cardiorespiratory fitness in the high intensity group. It's well established that cardiorespiratory fitness is an independent predictor of cardiovascular disease and mortality. What we saw in our study was that both the amount and the intensity of exercise you performed was associated with benefit. However, the optimal benefit was associated with increasing exercise intensity. The good news was high intensity wasn't too hard. The high intensity workout is high relative to the low intensity. So it was very palatable. It was essentially walking on a treadmill. None of our participants were jogging or running or training as an athlete might do. So it was very palatable, very easy to do, and our participants really enjoyed the activity, and they were pleasantly surprised. For more information, go to annals.org.